it's a valve essentially anything used to control flow rate they could be literally like on off so either you work with 0% or 100% they may be also used for control so you can control literally like 0% open, 20% open, 80% open, half open or even completely open they are also used for safety you need like I don't know maybe to shut down a system or to avoid counter flow if your flow goes to the left you don't want to go to the right because it will destroy your pump and yep it's also used to decrease the flow rate makes sense so this will definitely increase the friction loss you don't need to be a genius to know that if you have let's say this completely open it's okay you have no problems but once you close a little bit let's say 3% away you will have the same people or the same flow passing by and will make friction a factor here and what does that mean if you increase friction you're going to increase the head of the system what's the head of the system is essentially how much power you're going to require to operate that system we're going to see later that if you close a little bit of a valve you're going to increase the power because the friction increases that hopefully makes sense it's uh, it kind of makes sense that if you are expending more energy in friction you're going to need more energy in the pump uh, okay type of valves there are many types of valves you can actually watch them right here this is one type and gate valves and this is like that diagram from the diaphragm and butterfly and so on so quick list glow valve check valve butterfly ball gate needle valve diaph diaphragm valve and important safety valve the ball valve is essentially due to the name of this little ball so you have this ball which is concentric actually it's if you will see it you will see that it has a small hole here so if you move it right to here you will make it shift to here and it will be closed you will be actually having the flow here if you won't allow it you have the flow here you will have flow it's very pretty basic for example here the fluid will encounter this will crash and will not be able to cross to the other side normally in the industry you will only see this so you will see this this is probably a ball valve and actually they're nice enough to tell you where the direction goes to on and where it goes to off once again here you can see this hole so it can pass by glow bulb okay as the name apply is something here here is the globe here goes the fluid and then you have this little piston leg which will either you move it move it move it starts going up 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 the plug goes up and there's space to move so this is good because it is almost on off work so you push it you will have 0% you pull it up you will have 100% of flow and as the direction applies here it goes from left you cannot go it's closed but this will be open this one open right here the diaphragm valve is kind of similar but here we have this little let's say diaphragm instead of having this along which will be gate valve we have this little guy right here so you have perfect hermetic closing you will not let the flow go from left to right and here well since the diaphragm is up you can have flow this is a little bit more interesting you can see how the diaphragm changes direction like literally the diaphragm the diaphragm of a, a person it breathes opens it exhalates closes the check valve is a very common valve used to avoid the let's say the counter flow so imagine we have this flow and we'll, what will happen if we have reverse flow this will push this little guy right here and will be closed right here and there will be no flow in the counter direction so it's pretty impressive how something that simple can avoid something that will definitely destroy your pump or something like that here we have it flow can go through here but if 
flow goes through here will push this and will close and when it's closed you will have no flow actually this one is closed right here and it's nice because if, if you have a forward flow this will push and will allow to have a flow and of course they have a little button right here in order to close it if you want to close it permanently you just click it and it will fix and even though it pushes it won't open gate valve is literally a gate so this starts moving up and as it moves up these or the gates start opening you can see you can control maybe this is 40% open this is 0% open this is 100% open you can see the flow and when you close it it's 0% open you have no flow actually this way the needle valve I actually haven't encountered personally that much but I think it's very used in many type of industries so let's let me show you essentially here goes the valve and it will push and as it pushes it won't allow the fluid go from point A to point B butterfly valve is also very creative it will have a little bit more friction for example this you will have always a friction here but you can pass through left and you can pass through right and as you start moving it you start rotating this disc until you get for example closed you could also have it a little bit not so let's say closed you can have a little flow right here and right here and yeah essentially it's everything on valves the last valve will be the safety valve it's used to avoid or to stop for example if there is excess of pressure let's see here goes the nozzle the disc spindle the spring if there is a lot of pressure will drop and will stop and we close the valve so for example you will have always flow here always flow here until it starts feeling high pressure the high pressure pushes this and then this will eject and close the the flow right here this is good because it's safe for everyone so you can avoid increasing pressures which are of course very dangerous for example if you have a pipe and you cannot operate more than 10 atmospheres and you set this valve to operate at 9.5 atmospheres so when it goes to 9.5 this valve will be executed and we close the system and the pressure will lower almost immediately that's everything on the theory I wanted to show you guys if you want to see problems involving this well actually there are no problems it's only apply problems if I tell you uh, I choose a gate valve just try to imagine the gate valve if I tell you there's a check valve try to imagine the check valve but actually there are no problems guys so don't worry in checking out the problems you can continue to the next block I'm going to make the conclusion and see you in the next video this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.